Hello, my name is Joe Barker. I'm the head teacher at Marple Hall School. Normally at this time of year we'd be having our annual open evening, but because of coronavirus obviously we can't do that. Therefore we've put together this website and some videos, some information to try and give you guys an idea about what our school is like, what we believe in and why you might want to send your son or daughter to our school next year. So in the course of this presentation I'll talk to you about our school values. I'll also talk to you about how we try and deliver on those values and you'll hear from two of our student leaders, Anya and Saul. So I'll start by talking to you about our vision and values. The vision for Marple Hall School is that we'll be a place of excellence where we're proud of our school and confident of success. But more importantly, we live by our five core values. About six years ago, we asked our students to write down uh, four or five things they most valued in other people. And we collated together the ideas of about a thousand students and came up with our thing called the Marple Hall Spirit. These are the five qualities that we most admire in people, whether they're students or adults. And they are determination, honesty, readiness, respect, and spark. And we know that if our students show those five qualities on a daily basis, then they will be a success at Marple Hall School. Now before I tell you about what our school is like on a daily basis, I'd like to pass over to, to two of our student leaders, Anya and Sol, who will tell you about their perspective of the school. Hi, I'm Anya, I'm one of the head students here at Marple Hall. Marple Hall is a place where all students can truly become their own person and become more independent. It's a really, really inclusive place and we have pride flags all around school and we have loads of opportunities for all students to really flourish and become truly their own person, like I've said. Um, my personal aim this year is to create an even more inclusive environment by having LGBT plus black and black history education as well as political education to create new informed young voters. Marple Hall is just truly a place where everyone can be them, be themselves. Yeah. Hi, I'm Saul. I'm another head student here at Marple Hall. And uh, personally, I live in Woodley, so Marple was not my closest school. But the reason I chose to come here was because it didn't just seem like it was interested in exam results, although it does achieve outstanding GCSE results every year. Um, it seemed like it was interested in helping students grow not just as pupils but also as people. I felt this school would be the best to help me just become the best I could and to reach my full potential. And I've been continuously proven right th throughout my whole time here. In year seven I attempted to get onto the student leadership team and unfortunately was unsu unsuccessful. However, I'd been taught resilience and determination just in my first year and I tried again and I got on. Now, I was encouraged to just keep on trying and trying again. I was also rewarded with the Marple Hall Spirit Award in year eight. So they don't just encourage students to become the best that they can, they also reward outstanding effort and behavior. So my message is that I was encouraged to thrive throughout my whole time here at Marple Hall, and I have no doubt that all your children will too. One of the key features of Marple Hall School is the quality of teaching and learning that takes place in lessons every day. It's really important as a school that we make the most of every single minute that we get with students in lessons, especially uh, this year for reasons you can well imagine. And so we spend a lot of time making sure our lessons are as good as they can possibly be. Now I'm passionate about teaching. I came into education to be a teacher first and foremost, and I still teach now. I take a class of year 10 or year 11 through their GCSE history every year, and I absolutely love it. It's really important to me that every lesson is as good as it can possibly be, that students know why they're there, what they're doing, that their work is challenging but pitched at the right level, that they are assessed constantly, not just at the end of a unit but all the way through so the teacher can adapt and change, that the work is differentiated so that everybody can access it. And what we ask is that teachers deliver that every single lesson, every single day. When you're choosing which secondary school you should send your son and daughter to, it's important that you are confident that they will be successful academically. And we are proud of our success academically at Marple Hall School. Exam results are not the only thing, but they are an important thing. And we've got a good, strong track record of people doing very well indeed, with their English and maths and other subjects uh, performing strongly every year. I won't talk too much about the 2020 exam results because as you know, the exams didn't take place this year and grades were awarded differently. We were very proud of our young people, but it's not fair to make comparisons with other schools this year. One thing I will point out though is that we are uh, really keen that every single person has a chance to move on to their preferred course or apprenticeship or employment when they leave Marple Hall School. 
And every year, 99% of our year 11 cohort go on to do something worthwhile with, them, with their uh, career as they move on past our school. That's a high number, much above the national average, and we're very proud of it. But as with everything, we think our exam results are good, but we believe in one mantra, which is that better never stops, and we always try and improve. A third feature of our school is about forward-thinking leadership that empowers people to do their best. A big part of that is having high expectations of staff and of students, and we make no, no apology at all that we have high expectations of the young people in our care. We will expect them to be organised, to be on time, to bring their equipment, to do their homework, to be polite and respectful and to wear their uniform with pride. We have these high expectations and we raised them four or five years ago and students have continually upped their, their game to make sure they meet our expectations. Our school is a calm and organised place. People can learn and be happy and be themselves. School is not, of course, just about exam results, like I said, it's also about developing as a whole person, and that is probably the most important part of life at Marple Hall School. So what you do beyond the classroom is just as important as what you do inside the classroom. We have a whole range of extracurricular activities uh, for music, art, drama, technology, you name it, we offer it. And it's very important that we uh, encourage students to get involved in extracurricular. In this case, the mantra is absolutely true, the more you put in, the more you get out. And when we, when we have those activities running, what we end up with is a thriving school, and we'd like to say a school that's got soul. And that's the kind of school you'd be sending your son or daughter to. So I'll, I'll finish off today by talking about a couple of important key things. Firstly, our usual intake is that we are oversubscribed as a school. We have 300 places, but for the current 2020 intake, we had over 390 first choice applications and we admitted about 320 students. So we are oversubscribed and we are full. Secondly, of course, is about Ofsted. Uh, it's important you read the Ofsted report for any school you're thinking about sending your son or daughter to. We had a very good Ofsted report about five years ago and we were visited two years ago as a follow-up Ofsted for a one-day inspection. You can see the report on our website and on the Ofsted website from 2018. There's plenty of uh, positive messages in there about how we are growing as a school and we are uh, on the track to becoming an outstanding school in the future. However, I'm very clear about our view on Ofsted at Marple Hall School. Uh, we don't actually care about it that much. Nothing we do in school is done to try and achieve the outstanding judgment. All we try and do is make our school as good as it can possibly be, to make sure that our staff are happy, that they're proud to work here, that our students are happy, they feel safe, they feel empowered, they feel included, that they work hard and that they achieve well and that they succeed. And if we get all that stuff right, we know that when Ofsted come back in one, two, three, five years time, they may well say that our school is outstanding and we'll be pleased. But that won't be the reason why we're doing it. We're doing it to make our school as best as it possibly, as good as it possibly can be for your son, your daughter, and all the people that come to Marple Hall School. So rather than chasing an outstanding Ofsted judgment, what we are doing actually is trying to reach something we call our 2025 plan. About three years ago, we set up a seven year plan, which was quite simple really, to make Marple Hall School the best comprehensive school in the country. Our logic is that some school has to be up there as number one, and I don't see any reason why it can't be ours. So it's a very ambitious plan. It's not a vision. It's not pie in the sky. It's been planned out and worked out, and we are working our way through it. And we're confident with your help and the help of the students in school now, we'll achieve that vision, and that by 2025, our school will be truly a great school. So I'll uh, leave you by saying that you have a big choice to make for the school of your, for your son or daughter for September 2021. I, would, uh, I can't welcome you into school, unfortunately, so I would recommend you take your time to look at the website, to look through the, the tour, the interviews with students and staff, and maybe to speak to people who've got sons or daughters here, talk to students you may know who come here already, uh, and take your time as you make your choice. We believe that we're on the journey to greatness, and we'd like you to come along with us. Thank you.